now for a different blade. Um, Wadanawa Kuroushi. This has a very convex bevel. Um, I already started here, but I realized the camera wasn't going. But I'll do something interesting here, and that is I'll show you halfway comparison between the front and back. For the new pattern with this stone, this is with the slurry from the Atoma plate. You can see where it's grinding. Scratch pattern. It's pretty obvious. That's from from this lorry, and uh, I'll, that's a pretty decent contest. Here I hit the the core, but in this knife I pretty much have to uh, hit the core on purpose because they are in different planes. So I'll hit the core now. And we can compare a bit with the front. You can see it's not a slow stone. Yeah, it already. Well, it's hard to focus here. Maybe that shows that there is a difference between this and this. Anyways, um, let's hit the whole play and then move on to doing it with no, no previous story. That will kind of show. So I'll show you in different stages. One thing to notice is that this glory feels like it's breaking down and becoming finer as you move. So if you want to keep grinding at a lower grade, you have to refresh from time to time. Otherwise it starts refining itself. And that's what's happening here on the sound. If you go back, you will see that it starts changing. That's because the slurry is becoming a lot finer. Here there is a bit of a slurry that was still not broken down and I found it by moving through the stone. Okay. I'm not gonna try and get a good polish at this point. Trying to show you the scratch pattern. <laughs> now I'm gonna move to refine this.
this can still be refined a bit but I'm gonna call it a day for now with this for a video at least and it's not clean 100% of the scratches yet but as yeah you can even see the details that um, lying in the cladding is starting to shine that's a pretty good finish for a mid grit it starts quite coarse but spawns a very healthy grit range I'll take pictures later <laughs> 